Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Trillium Tarot. This is Stephanie, and I'm so glad you're joining me for this video. Uh, for this one, I am going to flip through the Blooming Cat Tarot deck. Before I jump into the, the cards themselves, please do uh, me a huge favor and give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel so that you receive notifications of future uploads as I make them. Uh, I have, as you know, I've been recently been on a kick of trying to encourage people. If a, if a deck catches your eye, please do make an effort to buy the deck directly from the artist's website instead of from a middleman or a store or a selling site. Because if you purchase directly from the uh, artist's website, like the one that I'm sharing on the screen here, CosmicEye.org, that is the uh, illustrator and the creator and the producer of this deck that we are about to go through. So if you make a purchase through the website, 100% of the purchase proceeds goes directly to them instead of being paid out for uh, listing fees or sales commissions or, you know, sometimes uh, people will buy out the entire stock of something and then try and resell it at double or triple what the actual price should be. So. I do strongly encourage people to support the individual artist themselves rather than a corporation or some kind of third party seller. So um, I am going to flip through this cosmic, uh, or I'm sorry, this Blooming Cat Tarot deck. Just so you know, I did support uh, this artist's Kickstarter in order to get the Blooming Cat Oracle deck. So when I get that, I will do a video on the Blooming Cat Oracle deck as well. But for right now, let's just go through this deck. And it, it starts out with the Fool. And then we go to the Magician, the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Strength, the Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Justice, oh, the Hanged Cat. He got his little foot tangled up. Uh, then we go to Death and Temperance, followed by the Devil and the Tower, the Star. The moon, the sun, judgment, and the world. Now I'll go through the four suits, but just so you know, this, this specific deck does come with 12 astrological cards included as well, or 12 zodiac cards. So once we get through these uh, four suits, I will show you the additional 12 cards for the signs of the zodiac. But for the suits themselves, let's go through, let's show the Ace of Cups. Then we go to the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The page, the knight, the queen, and the king. In this case, I'm assuming that the daffodils represent the cups. I should have mentioned that before. Uh, now we're going to look at swords. And I'm not quite sure. This one might be lavender or something close to maybe an indigo. Uh, but this is the ace of swords. And then we go to the two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, page, knight, queen, and king of swords. 
So let's make some room and we will start looking at the suit of wands. So here we have the ace of wands, followed by the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Poor little kitty with a great big burden. The page of wands, the knight of wands, the queen, and finally the king. Now let's look at the suit of pentacles and we'll start off with the ace and we'll go to the two, three, four, five, He's got a little band-aid on his tail and on his front passenger leg. Poor baby. Now the six, seven, eight, nine, ten, the page, the knight, the queen, and finally the king. So now I'm going to do the, or I'm going to show you those zodiac cards, those astrological cards that are included with this tarot deck. And for those of you who are uh, really into astrology, try not to climb the walls because I looked at these cards and I got them out of order. So I know that these signs are not in the order <laughs> of the months that they are supposed to be in. But I'll go ahead and show you anyway. So. These cards show the name of the sign, the, the time range of, you know, the, the birth date or whatever the case might be. Um, elements and ruling planets and stones and colors. And then also at the top, it contains descriptions of the individual, both positive and negative. So this card is Pisces. And next, yeah, so we jump from... Pisces, which is from February 19th through March 19th. And next I'm showing you Capricorn, which is December 22nd through January 19th. So please don't send me hate mail because these are out of order. I'm so sorry. But they're adorable nonetheless, even though they're out of order. So here is Aquarius and Scorpio, Sagittarius, Libra, Virgo, Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, and wait a minute. Oh, I have two Pisces cards in this deck. I wonder if that's why I was all discombobulated. Interesting. It looks like the information is the same as far as at the bottom of the card. I'm not noticing anything different. I might have just randomly gotten two Pisces cards. I should reach out to them and see if that's normal or not. But regardless, at least now you have seen <laughs> the full tarot deck as well as the um, astrological or the zodiac deck. Again, I encourage you if you do decide to make this purchase to do so through directly through the artist website, cosmiceye.org. And just one final reminder, please do give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because it really does help out uh, the Trillium Tarot YouTube channel. So thank you so much for watching. I have thoroughly enjoyed this video and I look forward to the next one.